said simply this, that if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or gold, sickness or pain or body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, with the help of God you'll get it. Welcome to Involve Talk and Music Show. Involve Inc. is a not-for-profit organization where author Teresa Collins is the founder, author David Collins is the CFO, and myself, author Terrence Patillo, is the vice president. At Involve Inc., we strive to help individuals become grounded in life. Through our programs and services, we help our clients acquire skills that are necessary to overcome debilitating and stagnating trauma from the past and present so that they can begin to flourish emotionally and live stable, productive lives. Involved, Inc. Welcome to the show. Oh, 
vain to judge us, mother, mother, simply call the sweet where I have all of the mother. Ooh. Alright, alright. Mr. P here, Mr. Patillo here. Thought I'd just play a few songs and get us started. Uh, I hope everybody's doing good. Those that are up under the sign up sound of my voice, those that are up under it right now, and then those that will be later, uh, if they if they get a chance to hear this uh this podcast. Wishing everybody the best. Hoping everything is going well with you, and uh, just 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 really wishing and hoping that we are doing all that we can do to be the best that we can be, and we're not uh, caught up in our ego. And Les Brown says ego is edging God out. I hope we're not edging God out of our lives. Uh, but that we will come to him and live the life that we are supposed to live, that we can be of the greatest value that we can be towards people like our family, the community, uh, our loved ones. Being of the greatest value, that's, that's, that's really important. We want to be valuable because if we're not valuable, we're valued less. And so today... I'm hoping everybody reaches the mark or everybody's fighting to reach the mark. Okay. Uh, tonight, just going to be, you know, messing around a little bit, play a couple songs, talk about a few things. Tonight, I have been thinking, because if you are anybody that's online for any any reason you run into a lot of things and it'll draw you into deeper things and uh i think i spoke about it something to on the same level uh i spoke about a few weeks ago that i'm speaking on tonight but it's gonna uh not gonna be the same thing but just when we talk about value our own value when we talk about how we feel about ourselves and how people make us feel because whether we say it or not i mean whether we could we could say that it it doesn't bother us you know like people are always talking about i don't care what anybody says this is that and this is that and i'm this way and that way and i don't you know it doesn't matter to me what people say we all know if you come online if you come online to speak and to say that you do care what somebody thinks and you probably care what they say because if you didn't you wouldn't be online saying anything because what what why would you why would you have to say something if you don't care what people think or say or how people feel about you or anything most of the time we I, I don't care what anybody says i don't care what you know what you can hate me whatever you want to do you are still looking for somebody to agree with you you know but so words does matter. That's what that's the point that I'm trying to make. And how people see you matter. Uh, you can harden yourself and, and, and be mean and evil and all of that type of stuff. But the way people see you is going to have an effect on you. And you can ignore it. You can say that it doesn't exist. You can say that it doesn't matter. But it will bother you. Or it can affect your life. And then on the other hand, some of us, because of childhood trauma, some of us, because of things that we've gone through in life, some of us because of uh, hurts and pains that we have experienced, uh, some of us don't feel too good about ourselves a lot of times. And uh, some people, they feel, they don't feel so good about themselves and so they try to make other people not feel good about themselves. And then just general negativity 
of society today. As I always say, today, either you're too fat, you're too skinny, you're too tall, you're too short, you're too broke, you got you, you got too much money, uh, uh, you you you. You don't have this, or you made a mistake on that, or you're not pretty, you're not beautiful, you don't have uh, uh, the shape that you need to have, and, you know, all these different things, these are very, very, uh, per these things permeate the, the airwaves, and the ether waves, and, and, the, and the social media, and there's a lot of hate going around, people hate each other, it just seemed like one songwriter said many years ago, seems like people got the hate disease, you know, and uh, and so a lot of times because so much is put on us, you know, we got to be perfect. We got to have the right kind of hair. We got to have the right kind of skin complexion. We got to have uh, things that that uh, really does not really com compute or things that really say who we really are. But. Is labels and titles and and, and uh, uh, behaviors and everything that certain sex segments of society put on us, and it makes us feel inferior. It makes us feel like we're not enough. It makes us feel like we don't, we should not exist. And as I spoke a couple of weeks ago, the, the the man and the woman bashing that's going on, the the gender wars. Uh, each one makes the other one look like the world would be a better place if they were just not here, period. The, they make it look like the world would be a better place if if, if just get rid of the, the, the males and just let it be females. Or get rid of the, the, the females and just let it be males because males are the biggest problem that ever happened to society or women are destroy, destroying the community you know, all these different things. And after you hear so much of these, after you hear so many of these things, and after you hear this stuff so much, it'll cause you to second guess yourself. It'll cause you to uh, feel bad when, when you make a mistake. It'll make, it'll make you feel terrible when people don't see you, the goodness that's in you, or they mistake something to be bad in you, or they treat you as though you you don't measure up. And it can have an effect on you. But what we're talking about tonight is self-compassion. Because if other people won't have compassion on you, and if other people won't care about how you feel, and if other people won't take notice that what they think about you in a bad way may not be true, then if you don't have if people don't have compassion on you, then it's up to you to have compassion on yourself. It's up to you to care about yourself. It's up to you to be concerned about how you move around on a daily basis. And are you moving around up on the cloud of guilt and shame? Or, or are you moving around in cases where you've messed up or made a mistake or got fired from a job or something like that? And you're walking around up on the cloud of misery because you're saying that you blew it. You dropped the ball. You know, if no one is going to have compassion on you for that, you need to have compassion on yourself. I'm not saying that whatever you do, if it messes up or you do wrong or you or you drop the ball or you make a mistake, I'm not saying that you should just say, oh, well, and just keep on walking. No, you should become, you should allow yourself to be uh, uh, accountable for what you've done. You should allow yourself to have some type of remorse about it especially if you did it especially if you made the mistake especially if you did not do what you were supposed to do you should feel some kind of way for a moment and a moment is not 60 seconds a moment could be 30 seconds a moment can be five minutes a moment can be 30 minutes but you should not stay in that same state and sometimes the only way that you can get out of that state is to have compassion on yourself. Because most people are not going to care about you and like you are supposed to care about yourself. And because people don't care about us, many times we don't care about ourselves because our value 
we place on what people say about us or how people feel about us. And if they don't think that we're pretty, if they don't think that we're nice people, if they don't think that we got it going on, then we ain't got nothing going on in our heads because we basing everything off of people. But we got to be compassionate to ourselves. We got to do it to ourselves because this world is being set up where people are not compassionate one towards the other. And so when that's not going on in your life, you have to be compassionate to yourself. With that being said, I want to play a song uh, and take me a quick little break to, to get something to, to wet my beak, as they say, because I'm, I'm, I'm a little dry over here. So let me uh, do that and uh, I'll be right back. So, if you think about it, some people, just under the sound of my voice, you have been through a lot in life, and because of some mistakes that you've made, or because of some ways that you've been made to feel, even in childhood, uh, you can understand that you are not the mistakes that you made. Uh, what happened to you does not define you. You understand that, especially those of, of, of that have matured a little bit and then some that are educated. You understand that what you do and what you've done and what happened to you does not define you. But every so often, the voices from the past 
will try to have a conversation with you to make you feel inadequate. To make you feel like you are something that you are not. That you are a person that doesn't have worth and you, doesn't me you don't measure up because you messed up. Or because something to happened to you in your childhood and everything around you made you feel like you didn't have any value. So you might have grown out of that. You may understand that that's not necessarily true. But there's always the inner voice, the voice that you heard so much when you were coming up, the voice that you told yourself and the things that you say to yourself now. When you do something like, for instance, I talked about this before. I always use this because it never it never ceases to amaze me how somebody that have the knowledge that I have and the understanding that I have. How do I still go for this? And. Even though I go for it, it's only for a few seconds. But why should I even go for it for a few seconds? Here's what I mean. I could be doing something. And like, for instance, cooking. I could be cooking breakfast. And if I drop an egg on the floor or some egg, some egg get into uh, whatever I'm cooking, eggshell, uh, the moment it happens, one of the first things that come to my mind is how could you do something so stupid like that? You know, or there's some things that I I, I was trying to fix, uh, not in the kitchen, but there's been other things that I've been trying to fix. And instead of me fixing it, one slip of the wrench or, or, or one move and it messed it, it messed things up worse than they were messed up in the beginning. And instantly when I made that slip, or when I, I made that step or I made the misstep, instantly I heard a voice say to me, why are you so stupid? And see, what I've learned to do is challenge those type of thoughts. Like one of the main thoughts I get is, why do you always mess something up? I still hear that. I'm, a, I'm you know, not to be bragging, but I've, 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 I've studied this stuff. I understand this stuff. I know where it come from and all of that, but I still have not been able to make it go away completely. So even at my age, with my education, my degrees and all that type of stuff, when I mess up something, I can hear myself or I can hear the voice in my head saying, why are you always messing up? Why are you always doing something stupid? The other day, I heard my uh, I heard a voice say, "I hate my life" because something was going wrong and I just couldn't get it together. Eventually, I got it together because I challenged the thoughts that was in my head, like the thing about you always doing something wrong. That's not true. Why would I accept that? You always messing something up. You know, or like some of us, we feel like it's doom and gloom if something happens that don't, if something don't go our way. In reality, it's not doom and gloom. You just have a situation right here, right now, that's not working out. But if you wait and if you ponder it a little while and use the average intelligence that you have, you will be able to figure your way out of it. But some of us, we still hear those voices that we have been hearing all our lives. And many of them started in childhood. And we have not been able to shake them to the point where we don't hear them anymore. But that's okay. You may still hear them, but do you respond to them? Do you go, do you go with the flow? If you hear a thought in your head saying that you are a creep, do you go with that? Do you start acting like a creep? When that voice tells you you're nothing, do you go sit in the corner and act like you're nothing? Because the voices is going to come with a lot of us because of what we've been through in life. But what we have to do instead of being hard on ourselves and going and sitting in the corner and, 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 and acting like we're nothing or if we hold our head down and, and, and figure that we are just creeps and screw ups and all of those different things. If we let those thoughts linger, that's what we will do. That's what we will be. And quite frankly, Many people that are not progressing in life, many people that are not doing the things that they're supposed to do and the things that they were called to do and the things that they were gifted to do and the things that they are talented to do. 
they are not doing those things because they pay attention to these voices and they, 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 they get on the side of these voices and they help these voices beat themselves down. They help that low self-esteem, negative self-worth, the words that come with that, they get on, they, they, they uh, uh, join hands with that and beat themselves down with those words. And so tonight, I want you to know that those words and those feelings and those thoughts, they're just thoughts. They're just words. They're just feelings. They don't have to be your reality. They don't have to be our reality. What people say about us don't have to be our reality. How we feel. I got a thing. Well, I, it's not so necessarily that I have a thing, but down through the years when I was growing up, we always said this, go for what you know. Hey, man, I'm thinking about doing this. So I want to do that. Hey, man, go for what you know. And we really didn't know what we were saying. But what I know today is when I sell myself that I'm going to go for what I know, that means I'm going to go for more than my feelings. I'm going to go for what I know to be true. I'm going to go for what I know to be accurate. I'm going to go for what I know that's going to work. I'm going to go for what I know instead of how I feel. Because sometimes I get some feelings that don't make any sense. Sometimes I get some feelings that's so bad, I feel terrible about them. I feel terrible about the feeling that I'm feeling. And so I don't go with feeling. I have to go with what I know. If I feel dumb, I have to know that I ain't no, I'm not dumb. If I feel like a creep, I have to know that I'm not a creep. And I know this. And so I don't respond like that. I respond for what I know. And I have compassion for myself when I blow it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because you got to understand, you will blow it. One of the things that you will do, you could try all you want, but one of the things that you will do is you will fall. You will make a mistake. You will fail. You will blow it. You're not going to get out of this life. You're not going to come into this world and live to be however old and then leave this earth and you didn't make no mistake. You didn't fail at something. You didn't blow it. Anybody that's lived a life like that is not living because they don't know what the, they don't know what's going on because they didn't learn anything. They don't if you don't learn anything, how can you grow? And if you don't grow, how could you how could you be happy? How could you have knowledge and wisdom and understanding? You got to fall so you can get up. Every person has failed. They failed when they tried to walk when they was young, when they were babies, and eventually they got it right. It's just life. You're going to fall. You're going to fail. You're going to mess up. And it's so it's so much re, it's so much a reality that I heard one person say, get get busy failing. Hurry up and get it started. And since you're gonna fail anyway, get in there and start failing because when you fail, you're gonna be lifted up. When you fall, you're gonna get back up. I love how how Les Brown says, you know, if you if you fall, try to make sure that you land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. But one thing we don't need to do, we don't need to lay there and be cruel to ourselves. We don't want to lay there and beat ourselves senseless because we blew it. What we want to do is we want to make something out of that situation. What we want to do is we want to understand what happened and how do we fix it. And how do we get to a point where the mistakes we made, we don't make them again? That's what's really going on. That's what's really, that's, that's what we really should be looking at. Instead of downing ourselves and beating ourselves, we need to have self-compassion. I'm not all that bad. I'm not bad at all. I made, I made a mistake. And some may feel like they're bad. Well, if you feel like you're bad, then get good, if I can put it that way. If you feel like you're lacking in character, go build character. 
But at in the in at in between time, in the meantime, in between time, as they used to say, make sure that you're not so hard on yourself. Make sure that you don't beat yourself down so far that you can't even get back up. Make sure that you don't let this type of stuff take you out. Your own feelings of inadequacy, your own feelings or negative feelings of, of uh, worth or self-worth. Make sure that you don't be your own enemy. Because in most cases, when that happens, it is because we have become our own worst enemy. We got to make sure that we don't beat ourselves up. Once again, being accountable, looking in the mirror and say, I did this, I blew it, I feel bad about it. Nothing wrong with that. But after you do that, get back up, wipe your face off, wipe away the tears, and then get back to doing what you're supposed to do. All right. I'm going to play another song for you. This song kind of speaks to that. Because uh, you got to get over it sometimes. The thing that you've, that you've done or the thing that have happened, the, cor the, the obstacle course that you end up running through and you didn't make it through with flying colors, you got to look at that and see if you can figure out why. But at another point, you got to be like Marvin Wines when he says, I'm over it now. End of the road Never fully told But it ends Filming of a dream It's more than it seems Will the stars last Will the pain pass People only see the smile Unaware of all the trials one must endure Just because he's sure he is right So he fights through the night it goes on Don't know when the day will break Accomplishes the cause. What a noble deed, driven to succeed. What's the real price of success? And this feeling of emptiness left in its way, discerning the truth from the faith is the test. And though it hurts. Yet nevertheless At this pain I must wink From this bitter cup I'll drink Until this song Till it is And every night I pray Lord let this cup pass I really didn't know how long it would last Every week I'd feel the same pain Residue of hurt would come again and again Then all of a sudden your life came Now I'm over it now Over it now I can't say how I'm a bro. 
broke free All of the chains just dropped off of me People can talk about me as much as they please But I'm all grown up now I, I got the victory And I'm all The man said, listen, I'm over it now. Sometimes you just got to claim that you over it now. Sometimes you just got to say, hey, you know what? I was down and out, but now I'm up and out. All right. Sometimes you got to be able to say, look, things look slim, but I'm right where I need to be right now. I blew it. I messed it up, but I got another chance. I got another crack at it. And I'm over it now. I'm over what messing up. I'm over and I'm over the feeling of inadequacy because I messed up. I might mess up again. But right now, that last thing I did and I blew it and I repented and I asked God to forgive me and the people to forgive me and all of those things. I'm over it now. I'm over it now. I'm done with that. Yeah, I used to be a drinker. Yeah, I used to be a fornicator. Yeah, I used to be a gambler. Yeah, I used to rob and steal and stick up and all those different things. But I'm over it now. I'm over it now. And I'm not going to beat myself down. Sometimes I think about the people that I introduced to drugs that died doing drugs. Sometimes I think back of the people that I harmed uh, as a child. Uh, you know, my my my. My history is bleak if you want to look at what I used to do and what I used to be. But today, I don't beat myself down about it. I'm over it now. I have compassion for myself. I don't wallow in the dirt. I don't wallow in self-pity and shame on a daily basis. Every now and then, something happens, something comes along, and I feel bad about it. But after a while, after taking a look at it, finding out where I went wrong and coming up with a solution for not being wrong again, I can step forth and say, I'm over it now. Some of you up under the sound of my voice, you need to say, I'm over it now. I'm over the low self-esteem. I'm over the negative self-worth. I'm, I'm over the body image issues. I'm over what people say about me and what, how people lie on me and scandalize my name. I'm over that now. Let them do what they want to do. Haters hate. Let them hate. But I'm over it now. Yeah, it was an ugly breakup and maybe I was more at fault than the person that I was with. But it's over. I'm over it now. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Whatever I did, that's fine. Uh, 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 if you think you need an apology, I give you an apology, but I'm over it now. And I'm not going to beat myself down for what I did. I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to say, hey, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But after a while, I want to be able to say like the song said, I'm over it now. I'm over it now. Listen, that's what we have to do to walk and to survive this life. Because if we think about all the mistakes that we've made and we think about all the things that people say about us and we think about the fact that we don't have this and we don't have that or we're not this or we're not that 
or people don't feel this way about us. And the people that we want to be around, they don't want to be around us. You know, sometimes I was just talking to my wife the other day. I've seen times where people want to be around these people. These people didn't want them. But these people over here on the other side, they was they wanted them to be with them bad, but they couldn't see it. That person couldn't see it because they had their eyes on them. The other people, the, the people that seem to be more famous, the people who had their name up in lights, the people that everybody was calling, you know, and and, and reverencing and, and, and loving on them. That person wanted to be with that group so they can get some of that accolades, some of those accolades and some of those lo that love. But they didn't realize there was a group over here that was waiting to give him all of that. But they couldn't see it. And some people have 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 understood that now and it's too late. But at the same time, you got to get over it. And don't beat yourself down for mistakes that you made. And maybe you missed the ball this time, but there'll be other balls rolling. I'm over it now. That's a great song. I'm over it now. What do you think about it? Are you ready to get over the pain? Are you ready to get over the self-hate? Are you ready to get over the self-doubt? Are you ready to get over the low self-esteem? Are you ready? Are you ready to live a new life? Are you ready to do a new thing? Are you ready to have a good, a better outlook, a better perspective? Are you ready to gain and develop another worldview? Or will you beat yourself down for not being what everybody else says you should be? Are you still going to beat yourself down for that mistake that you made? Don't do it. It's not worth it. Be responsible. Be accountable. Pay the dues if you have to, but make the apologies. Whatever you can do to fix it, but at a certain point, you got to get over it. And you can't beat yourself up. You can't beat yourself down. You must get over it. Songwriter said, I'm over it now. I, I, I really like that song. I think I'm going to play it again in a little bit. What do you think? You ready? You ready to do a, a whole new thing? Are you ready? All right, listen. I'm going to play a song right here. I think I played it last week, but I'd like to play this one too. Uh, Marvin Wine is again. Ain't no need to worry.
truth can hurt you or the truth can change you what will truth do to you I just want to be happy but if I keep on doing the things that keep on bringing me pain there's no one else I can blame if I'm not happy wasted time but now I can see the biggest enemy it was me so I'm not happy cry yourself to sleep shout and raise your hands it won't change a thing child until you understand Preach. if you talk But it only works if, if you want to be happy. Look at yourself and say, Don't you want to be happy? Yeah. I just want to be happy. But if I keep on giving my heart for people to tear apart, the healing will never start. So I can be happy. Yes, Lord. Will I ever be happy? Cry yourself to sleep, shout and raise your hands, it won't change a thing child till you understand. If I'm talking to you, then say, if you're tired of being the same, if you're tired of things not changing, it's time for you to get out the way. You've been there too long. Don't get stuck. Right here. It's so easy to complain, addicted to the pain. Yes. You give your heart, they push it away. But I got good news for you. Jesus knows just how you feel. Just let him take the wheel. Hallelujah. The love you need already gave. But the question is, do you want to be happy? If you're tired of you. And say, I just want to be happy. Now, if you really mean that, open up your heart and say, Let me hear you say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're tired of going in circles, Let me hear you say, Yeah, 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 yeah. Tired of making the same mistakes, Let me hear you say, Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, now's your chance. Let me hear you say, Yeah, say, Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Come on! Don't get stuck in how you feel. Say, Jesus, take the wheel. Who to do it? He knows the road that you need to take. It's so easy to complain. It's so easy to complain. Come on! Addicted to the pain. Yeah! You give your heart, they push it away. But somebody that'll never leave you. Jesus knows just how you feel. Yes, sir. Question is, do you wanna be happy? <laughs> Took a long time, but I'm ready. I just wanna be happy. Thank you, Lord. Every day, ask yourself, do you wanna be happy? Yes. Pull over, let him drive. I just wanna be happy. Do you want to be happy? You're going to have to let that go. That mistake. Those feelings of inadequacy. The things that make you feel like you're not worth anything. You got to let all of that go. You got to let it go. Stop beating yourself down when something goes wrong. Stop making yourself feel bad because you made a mistake. Stop 
beating yourself up because you don't have what others have. Stop harming yourself because you don't feel like you think others feel. If you want to be happy, here's some things that you could do. What you have to do is learn how to develop some things that will help you in those times of feeling inadequate and feeling bad. One of the things you could do, but you got to be careful, but it does work. You got to comfort your body. In other words, eat something healthy, lie down and rest, massage your own neck, feet, hands, whatever. Take a walk. Anything you could do to improve how you feel physically gives you a dose of self-compassion. In other words, get somewhere and take a, a long, hot bath. Take a book in there. Forget about your problems. Forget about your cares. Forget about the mistake you made or the feeling of inadequacy, the feeling that you're not enough. Forget about that. Go read a book. Read a good book. Or go like do like I like to do. Go in and, and get some good music and just listen to that. Not the music that's going to make me feel worse, but the music that's going to make me feel better. And yes, it may not be the best situation, but sometimes you all you got. Sometimes we talk about self-compassion. Sometimes you got to massage your own neck. Sometimes you got to massage your own feet. You know, you can also take a walk. Take a walk into a nice area. You know, if you if you know a nice area, go do that. But whatever, whatever, just comf do something to, comf to comfort yourself instead of beating yourself up. Another thing that some people do is they write letters to themselves. They think of a situation that caused them to feel pain. You know, things like a breakup or a job loss or a poorly received presentation, whatever it might be. They write a letter to themselves describing the situation, but without blaming anybody, including themselves. And they use uh, this exercise to nurture their own feelings, you know, make make sure that they feel all right. Yeah, write it down. I did it. I messed it up. It didn't go right. But I'm not blaming myself for it. I just understand that it happened, and I'm going to try to make sure that it don't happen again. And like Marvin Weiner said once again, I'm over it now. Okay? Sometimes you have to give yourself encouragement. Think of what you would say to a good friend if he or she was facing a difficult situation. What would you say? Would you beat them down? Most of the time, we're not going to beat them down. We'll beat ourselves down, but if somebody comes to us and they had a bad situation, or if they blew it, we're going to encourage them. But we don't want to encourage ourselves. Because sometimes we feel like we deserve what we get. But I'm here to tell you that you don't deserve to beat yourself down. You deserve to accept what is as being what it is and then get back up, dust yourself off and make sure that you are ready to get back in the ring, as they say. Make sure that you're ready to start this thing back over. Why? Because the alternative is really not a good alternative. It's a poor choice to sit there and beat ourselves down till we can't get back up. The quicker we get the quicker we get back up after we get knocked down, the better we we'll feel. I always talk about this story that I heard about Muhammad Ali when he lost his fight to George Foreman. He got hit so hard he hit the ground, but he bounced back up instantly. And somebody asked him later, why did you get up so quick? He said, because being on the ground was no place for a champion. I remember seeing videos of the fight and I knew in his head he was really, really hurt that he allowed himself to get hit like that. But he got back up so quick and he was ready to fight. That's how we got to be. We can't be. If he'd have stood over there in that 
corner of the ring and oh my god i let myself get hit all these people watching me on television all the people in this arena all the people that i told i was going to uh do this and i told i was going to do that and i ended up on the floor i might as well just stay down here i might as well leave the fight right now no no -uh. hey i feel it i'm gonna have to make sure that this doesn't happen again but right now i still got to fight so yeah, sometimes you get hit on the blind side, as they say. Sometimes things won't go your way. Sometimes you, yourself, will be your own worst enemy. But you cannot continue to be your own worst enemy, and you cannot continue to beat yourself down. If you can beat yourself down, you can lift yourself up. If you can talk yourself down, you can talk yourself up. If you can talk yourself into something, you can talk your way out. You just got to believe in and accept it. You got to realize that this is not where I want to be. This is not what I want to do with my life. I want to be positive. I want to I want to make a difference. I want to make a mark. And I understand the only way I can leave a mark is by making a mark. Some people you know that your life belongs to God. And you know that you want to do God's will. But you've messed up so bad. Some of you are what they call backsliders. You was in, in God, living for God, doing his will, but you blew it. And you feel like you blew it so bad that you can't come back. I say that you can. You just got to want to. I say that you can get back up again. You have to want to. But if you stay down and beat yourself and beat yourself... You will not have the power to get back up. Get up. Get over it. Let's get this thing back on track. So we can have a good life. So that we can do good things and be blessed, be a blessing to people. Sometimes we don't feel like we're blessing the people because we're so down on ourselves, but there's people that we are blessing to. Some people just like to see us walk into a room. Some people just like the way we smile. Some people like the way we greet them. Some people like some of the things that we have done in our lives that are positive. We can't see that because we beat ourselves down. And we think other people see us the way we see ourselves. But it's not true. That's your view. That's the voices that you've been listening to. But give yourself encouragement. When you find yourself in, in a situation. Be compassionate. With yourself. Towards yourself. Then another thing you could do is practice mindfulness. What is mindfulness? Something like even a quick exercise such as meditating for a few minutes. That can be a great way to nurture and accept ourselves while we're in pain. In other words, get somewhere and just stop and let the thoughts go. You got to let those thoughts go. You can't When you're meditating, you're not holding on to those thoughts, but you're letting everything go. And you're letting yourself feel better thoughts. Understand what I said. Feel better thoughts. Because how you think makes you feel a certain way. And how you feel about a certain way. A certain thing will make you behave a certain way. So sit there. And meditate. And let good thoughts come in. Get rid of the bad. And let the good ones come in. So you can start feeling better. And listen, don't put so much stock into what other people say about you. And some people, no one is saying anything about you, but you just think they are because you feel bad and you think when other people see you approaching, they feel bad about seeing you. All of these things are smoking mirrors. All of these things are mirages. All of these things are cognitive distortions. All of these things are designed to keep you from prospering, 
These things are designed to keep you from moving forward. These things are designed to stop you from winning. But you as an individual, you are designed to win. You have everything you need to win. And if you get if you have God in your life, then the battle's already won. Stop feeling so bad. God don't God doesn't even God is is against sin. He's against doing wrong and all of those different things. But his love and compassion, he's not gonna continue to beat you down. He's not gonna allow you to be so messed up by sin that you destroy your life. All you have to do is come to him and repent and say, Lord, I'm sorry. And he'll throw that thing, whatever it is, in the sea of forgetfulness, never to be remembered again. That's what he does to people that accept his son into their lives. So the great God who's against sin, he's not against you. But I say this, this is goes for everybody, no matter what your profession or vocation is. Don't beat yourself down. Accept responsibility. Figure out a way not to be the person that committed the crime or, or, or the mistake or what have you. Find a way to change that. And the first thing you got to do after you accept it that you messed up. Or after you accept it that you don't have this or you're not that. After you accept that, then you get up and say, I am what I am by the grace of God. And I'm going to use what I have to do what I need to do. And I'm going to turn around and face the music. And I'm not going to be looking back at the mistakes that I made. Then I'll be able to sing that song like Marvin Winans sang earlier. I'm over it now. As I said before, I think I want to play that again because it really touched my spirit. So here we go. Soon as I find it. <laughs> In the meantime, think of these words because some people they hear this type of thing and uh they don't they don't apply it. So it's like I heard a great message and I heard great information that would help me to be better, that it helped me to win, that it helped me to come out victorious. And then after the radio show go off or after the meeting is over, or after they get out of church or whatever it might be. They don't apply any of it and they're right back in the same place. I'm telling you to apply this stuff because it works. I'm telling you to do the work to fix your life. I'm telling you to pay attention to the things that have been said so that you can have a better outcome in your life. Well, my children are acting crazy right now, like they don't know that I'm in a, uh, uh, I'm having a, uh, a podcast, so, Play something else. I don't know what happened to the, these computers. I don't know. But if you receive the words that I said, you'll be able to do this. You'll be able to give him thanks because of the message that you heard and applied to your life. So just. Reason 
to complain. So what then makes the difference in the path we choose? It can't be in the winning, cause so often we all lose. Oh, it must be that the Father watches all we do. So if we put our trust in Him, there's always Is 
the test And though it hurts Yet nevertheless At this pain I must wink From this bitter cup I'll drink Until this song Till it ends And every night I pray, Lord, let this cup pass Cause I really didn't know how long it would last And every week I'd feel the same pain Residue of hurt would come again and again Then all of a sudden your life came and Now I'm old The chains just dropped off of me. People can talk about me much as they please, but I'm all grown up now. I, I got the victory, and I'm over. Still over. Yes, I can't see how, but it's over. Listen, don't beat yourself down. Have some self-compassion. We all mess up. We all make mistakes. We all fall. We all fail. But get up. Get over it. If you have to apologize, if you have to do something that's within what's right to fix a certain situation, whatever you got to do, name it, claim it if it's yours. Fix it, be accountable, but don't beat yourself down. Dust yourself off, get back up, and get back out there in the in the ring. The race is not given to the swift, neither to the strong, but to him that endure to the end. That's the one that's going to be saved, not the one that didn't mess up, not the one that didn't, uh, not the one that didn't do everything right but the one that fought into the to the end that's the one that's gonna make it so my family's in and everything is getting ready to go in a different direction so let me be over and out okay talk to you guys next week thank you